why do I have the stupid baby shark song in my head right now? Baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark I don't know That song should never have been invented. Hi Lisa I feel like the real question of the day is why can Facebook not get their shit together when it comes to filters? Like Facebook owns Instagram. Why are the filters so shitty? I was like, I feel like I want something fun today. Remember the star filter? How good was the star filter? They're programming us with something with that song. I'm convinced of it. Daddy shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 for real. There's like subliminal messaging in there for shizzle. Hey Leah Newman. <laughs> And even they're even telling you what to do in there. They're like, run away, do 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 do, run away, run away from the baby shark song. Someone's trying to program that into my head right now, and I don't appreciate it. Um, hello, hello. It's retreat day. I'm so excited. Um, how dirty is my camera lens right now? Let's just fix that, shall we? Now you guys can see my chins. <laughs> Jeez, it's quite disgusting. Hello, Mallory. It's retreat day. I'm leaving for the villa in about two hours. Um, still have a little bit of packing to do. I... <laughs> You totally need to come visit again, Leah. Bali's so great. I love it. I felt like we were at a rave for a minute. Um, Sanaya, bring Sanaya to Bali. Now. Right now. Dude, I'm telling you that Baby Shark song. I just realized it right this moment while we were on this live stream. Subliminal programming in that song. I guarantee it. Anything like that that's super weird and catchy that catches on. It's like, what are they trying, what are they programming into our susceptible minds with those kid songs? I'm telling you, I would be aware of this new Disney situation happening right now. My kids are not getting it. Like they're not getting the Disney app, whatever this thing is, this whole new Disney thing. It's not happening. There's some serious child programming happening in that app. I'm convinced of it. So, you heard it here first. Probably not first. I feel like other people are talking about it. You heard it here fifth. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, heteronormative family values. Yes, they are also programming that. That is another thing that they are programming. Do you guys like my new nail color? I just got them done yesterday. So, here we are. Reascension Retreat starts today. I'm so excited. Um, been an initiation the last couple of days for sure um, all this old stuff is just falling away and yeah it's really amazing I got a um, my child support case was finally settled yesterday. I finally got the order from the judge yesterday on my child support case. Um, was ridiculous. Um, for some of you that are in, I'm not sure what program I was talking about it, but last week I was literally like, I don't even want the money anymore. Like I literally was like, I don't even want the money. I don't want the money. I don't need the money. I'm ready to walk away from this thing. This has been a five year battle. Um, and he was $500,000, no, sorry, $300,000 arrears in child support. Um, and that's not including interest. 
Like it was just under three hundred thousand dollars that he was arrears child support, and he hadn't made a payment. He has not made a payment in five years. And this is my middle son's biological father. It it was really interesting because so I've been fighting this. I've spent about thirty thousand dollars trying to collect this money, and I. Well, so I was like last week. I'm like I don't even want I don't even want the money. Like I'm so over it. And I was like, I even talked to Sean and I was like, I think I want to just message the attorney and be like, hey, you know, tell him to make a $50,000, I'll take a $50,000 settlement right now and he can just walk away. And Sean was like, no, like, you know, I feel like you've gone this far, you should just let it run its course. It's not that big of a deal now. It's going to come back sooner or later and whatever. So it was really interesting because the we had to fill out what's called a DERFA, um, which helps you like calculate child support. And it was an average of income over the last 12 months. Um, and this was way earlier in the year. Anyway, he reported his income as $2,500 a month. And he works, at, he's, an inter, he's an entertainer, like he's a well-known musician. Um, entertainer and he just lied through his teeth like his entire DERFA was lies like he said he was making two thousand five hundred dollars a month I was like um I can find two thousand five hundred dollars worth of change under my bed right now but he, anyway the judge completely like without substantiated proof he pro provided no financial records she literally accepted his DERFA as it was and my attorneys made a mistake and did not submit they submitted my business income but they didn't submit my business expenses and so even though i told her on the stand what my business expenses were and i was able to pull up the sheet that my attorney didn't include in the paperwork she took my business expenses as my income and took his derfa as his income and he basically went from having to pay two thousand $250 a month to $159 a month. So he now only has to pay $159 a month, which is like the most ridiculous thing ever. I'm like, what am I even going to do with that? <laughs> like, and then she came up with some arbitrary random number and said that he owed $116,000 in back child support. So he does have to pay the $116,000, but it was less than half of what he actually owed. So it's over now, it's settled, but I just thought it was so fascinating that it happened last night that I got the thing right before going into this retreat and like all this shedding and all this like, yeah, it's crazy. And you know, honestly, like I scanned the email. I haven't even fully looked at the judge's order because I was just like, how did this happen? And it's been a nightmare. Like the judge has been the first judge that we had was totally ruling in my favor and then she retired halfway through the case and the new judge has been on his side the entire time and you know it's like these things child support things are supposed to be cut and dry you're not supposed to be able to like get out of paying back child support but apparently the gods were smiling in his favor or maybe mine because I do totally believe that everything happens like everything is always working out for me. So there is an aspect of this where it's like, even though it feels like, you know, and it's not me, it feels like Josiah really got cheated here. Um, so instead of $300,000 for college expenses or whatever he wants to do starting a business, he now is only gonna have 115,000 plus $159 a month for the next four years. <laughs> it's like a joke. I seriously was laughing so hard. The craziest thing about this is though that this judge, I'm gonna say one more thing and then we're gonna move on to something else, but it just feels like it's up in my field so I might as well talk about it. The craziest thing about this is, so if the judge is like, yes, I'm taking your um, statement that you're making $2,400 a month, that that's your income. So she's ruled that he has to pay $740 of um, back child support a month for 11 years. He gets 11 years to pay the $100,000, by the way. She gave him 11 years to pay it off. So she's ruling that he, so she's basically telling him that he has to pay $900 of his $2,400 that he makes, and he has a family. 
So I'm like, she obviously knows that he's making more than that or she wouldn't have ruled that he had to pay almost half of it in ch back child support. I mean, it's just like, it was so, it's insanity. And I was just like, wow. So I just scanned it last night. I really didn't even look at it. She's giving him till March to start paying the black child support. It was just, it's crazy. And meanwhile, like he's touring and he just got a new record deal and it's just all craziness, but it's over. And the really beautiful thing about it being over is energetically this albatross that I've been carrying in my energetic field for the last five years is gone. Like it's literally gone. When I woke up this morning, I could feel that it's no longer here. Um, you know, something like that takes up so much bandwidth, whether you're, whether it's something that you're dealing with um, you know, every moment of every day or not, it's something that's running in the background. And it's something that, you know, I've had to travel internationally for it. I've, it has taken up so much of my, my most precious resources, which are my time and energy. And, you know, that, that has that amount, time and energy, that I've spent is priceless, right? You actually can't put a monetary amount on what I've lost in time and energy. And I have this like overall feeling of relief. And I do believe that the universe is constantly conspiring in my favor. Like I really do believe that. I don't, I am like, and in Josiah's favor, in my son's favor, like in my, in everyone in my immediate family, like I believe that, I believe that to be true. So even though this may not look like or feel like a win to me, I know that it is. And I finally feel completely free. Like there's no courting, there's no connection between him and I, like this is over. Like I literally don't ever have to talk to him again. Um, and I don't know, like there's obviously will be something to do with collection of money or whatever, but it's it's quite a it's quite a bandwidth clear up or clean up <laughs> that happened so i'm really excited and i'm so happy to be like going into this retreat um free of that like that to me is just like wow like and I mean, like, so much crazy stuff's been happening for me. I wish I could, like, have the time to tell you guys all the things over the last four days that have been showing up, the synchronicities, how things have been showing up. Um, you know, obviously more will be revealed on all of this stuff. But, you know, I have, I still, like anyone else, have momentary moments of doubt where I'm like, is this all real? Like, is this, you know, is this... Am I just making all this stuff up, you know? And it's like the last four days I have been given, you know, no less than a dozen irrefutable signs that, you know, I'm on the right path, that I'm doing my divine mission work, that I am living purpose-led, that everything's always working out in my favor, that I'm divinely guided, that you know, magic is real and that it runs through my veins. Like it's been a really amazing last few days for all of that stuff. And, and, you know, I love that I'm so supported by God, the universe source, all that is, whatever you call it, that as I'm going into this retreat, I'm being, I'm given this beautiful gift of this like irrefutable proof the days leading up to going into these, into this retreat, um, because I'm doing work. Yay. And then Maria got here last night too. Um, I'm doing work right now that I've never done before. Um, the expansion personally that's happening for me is exponential. Like it's so huge. And this retreat, um, I'm facilitating work that I've never facilitated before. And um, there are enormous activations coming through this en enormous portal that currently is opened up over Bali right now. Um, and 
we are creating planetary shifts this week like pure plain and simple like no question about it like it is happening here in Bali over the next few days and I am so excited to dive in like we are visiting two of the most amazing sacred sites in Bali and doing activations at these sites and um, landing creation codes on this planet that have never been here before and I'm just I am like over the moon about the people in attendance that are going to be at this retreat they are all each one of them so unique and so magical and here to do such important work I am blown away by the response that Maria and I got to our VIP access which we opened up to give people um, an ability to do the two on one sessions that Maria and I are doing with the women that are attending the retreat and also to get access to the activations that we're doing here in Bali and they sold out like that and then so we've opened up six more sessions and I think we have four left right now um, of these VIP sessions so you can still participate in this if you want to if you're feeling called you want to be here in this energy of what we're doing over the next four days in Bali um, we've got four of those left we're not going to be doing those sessions until um, January however because we're completely booked up in December but um, it's a it's a one-on-one -on -one session with me and Maria it's a complete clarity um, on your divine mission work, on your um, purpose work, on your soul mission, why you're here, what's next for you, um, where in geographically in the world you're meant to be seeing clients or doing purpose work in 2020, um, as well as exactly what programs and offers you're meant to be launching to have the greatest impact. Like you're gonna leave these sessions with complete clarity. Like it's not, um, I love this. I just have to, I have to like call this out and mention this. I love that when I started talking about this, we had 21 people on and it's dropped down to 16. Like I have to say this, and this is something that used to upset me. Like I used to get upset about when that would happen. And now I'm like, every time that happens, I'm like, amazing. So good. So good. Like the people that are not meant to be in this, in this arena or in this field, they just dropped off. We're going to talk about that in a minute because that's the, the topic of this live stream is the separation is occurring. Um, but so we've got four of those left. They'll sell out in the next few days, I'm certain. Um, there are payment plans available, um, but you get those one-on-one -on -one sessions with me and then you get access to all of the activations that we're doing. I originally had planned two and now this morning I'm waking up and feeling like there's actually going to be three activations that happen over the next four days here in Bali. So you get online access to those activations as well as the one-on-one -on -one sessions with me and Maria for the VIP access. And if you don't want to do the VIP access, you can still get access to the activations. There's an activation only online access availability. Mallory just dropped the lead page. So you can go and read about the retreat and about what we're going to be doing. And then if you click on the payment section, you can um, purchase the VIP access or the activation only access. Um, I am going to, as soon as I'm done with this live stream, I'm going to hop into the VIP access group and um, I'm going to be opening the container and calling in all the energy of the women that are participating online into our space. Um, how did I know the time was now? Well, I originally planned this retreat in October um, and it was originally going to be in October and it was really originally going to be an Ascension retreat. Um, and then I was visited by Mary Magdalene and Jesus. And uh, well, first I was told by the divine that I had to move the retreat to November, which was crazy because I was like, what? Like, but I was told by the divine I had to move the retreat to November. And then I began getting downloads about, um, I'm like so over this word download. I wish we could come up with a different word, but you know what I mean? Uh, I started getting information from source that there were huge planetary shifts that were going to be occurring between the 1st of November and the 11th of November. And so I had to do the retreat after the 11th of November. Um, then I was visited by Jesus and Mary Magdalene um, and was given the information about um, 
basically what's happening with the reascension and that that was really what the purpose of this retreat was in addition to dropping these creation codes um, on the planet and these creation codes the purpose of them is to help people step into their divine mission work um, so that we can actually create our heaven on earth experience those of us that are going to create that not all of us are going to create that so that's what I wanted to talk about on this um, brain awesome is the net new download I know human words right um, but part of what these creation codes are is setting us up to be able to experience the union to fully embrace and embody our humanity and fully embrace and embody our divinity at the same time simultaneously um, so that's part of like this is a lot of groundwork that's happening here this week and I cannot wait to see the people that step away from this retreat with their creation codes activated from the time when these codes are actually dropping. Um, it's going to be epic and it's going to be next level. And it's like, even if you only believe in this stuff a little bit, like this is the time to get all in because you will be given irrefutable proof. <laughs> like that's just it. Like I've literally received the message that the people that opt in right now on these activations and on this journey and on the journey that's going to be happening over the next 12 months because I got the, I got the information today I've been waiting because I didn't know when the next thing was going to be or when the next um, retreat because I know that there's going to be several over the next 12 months um, and so and I thought there was going to be one in first quarter but there's not the next thing that's happening is in Glastonbury um, in June so um, and that just came through today and we're going to be visiting the red and white spring in Glastonbury um, and doing all kinds of magical pilgrimage things there um, so that's kind of what's next on the horizon and I know that there's going to be some online stuff happening between now and then um, in relation to all of this stuff but the shift is happening now and so the shift is happening right now and it's like I believe that why we're not doing stuff in the fir in the first quarter of the year is because it's going to take a minute for everybody to sort of acclimate to all this new energy those of us that are being um, are getting these up levels right now um, and these activations uh, and these upgrades really is what it is um, so Anyway, if you're feeling called, if you know you need to be here, if you know you need to be here for the activations, there's payment plans available. Like, if you believe in this stuff even a little bit, like, the time is now. Um, I guarantee you that people are going to be kicking themselves for not doing this with us this week. Like, hands down. You're going to see the women coming out of this retreat and the, the women coming out of the VIP access. Um, and out of the activations and you're going to see what's occurring with them and you're going to be like why didn't i do that so you still have an opportunity click the link message me if you have any questions but i do want to talk about this separation because somebody posted um on a post that i posted about if you don't believe that if you if you still believe that we're alone unfriend me or something first of all you know that like I like have a wild hair up my ass right now and like everything I'm saying is tongue-in-cheek sort of right now right like I really do feel like that I really do feel like if you're following me and you're on my page and you really are like I am I believe that we are alone I believe that we are like the only life form in this universe like there's a level of ignorance there that I just don't think I can actually handle so you probably should unfriend me so I probably was actually being serious but someone like posted something on my post about being inclusive and like that that's exclusive of people that aren't awakened yet. Well, here's something that I'm gonna say and it's probably gonna piss a lot of people off and I actually don't fucking care. And it's that I'm not really here to be inclusive anymore. Like that's not my purpose on this planet. Like it's not up to me to include the people that are asleep. Um, I'm no longer here to wake up the people that are asleep. That's not the purpose that I'm serving on this planet right now. That's not my divine mission work. It's not my purpose here. Um, and so if I'm, if that makes me exclusive, then I'm okay with being exclusive because it's not, I'm not fucking here to be like dragging the anchors any longer. Um, now I believe that there are people here whose jobs are to wake up the sheep. 
and the sheeple and the masses and the people that are asleep and the zombies, but it's not me. And you know, you can judge me for that or you can be upset with me about that or whatever, but it's just not me. I'm, and I'm like, and I don't actually care anymore. Like I'm not, yes, KC. So like there are women coming into my field right now who are next level amazing and they are here to do that. And I am happy to hand the baton over to this next phase of women that are coming in, women and men that are coming in to do the spirituality one-on-one -on -one and the awakening stuff. And their job is going to be very hard. I'm gonna tell you that right now because of the separation that's occurring and because of the shifts that are happening right now, it's gonna be harder than ever to wake people up. And so those people that are on those front lines of helping people wake up, um, they're going to need strong leaders leading them. And that's me. Like I'm, I am here to activate, assist, support the leaders doing that. I am here to impact many so that they can then go impact the masses. So there, I'm not in any way saying there is something wrong with it. I'm just saying that's not who I am. I can no longer be that person. I can no longer be that person because I have to step up to another level of activation and upgrades so that I can provide those to these people whose jobs are just got so much harder than they, than it's ever been. Um, because we, what we literally are dealing with is mass population who has gone deeper into sleep and in addition to that, we're going to, we have begun and are going to be dealing with awakened people who have gone back to sleep. And it's harder to reawaken. And it's gonna be harder to wake up these people who have gone into deeper slumber. So, you know, if you're watching and you're one of those people, you have your work cut out for you. And I'm here to support you. Um, but I'm no longer the person here to wake those people up. And that is what it is. So you like it or you don't. And if you don't like it, you can unfollow me. And I actually don't care <laughs> um, because I know why I'm here. And that's the thing. It's like that for me. And I also think for Maria, like part of why we collaborate so well and part of why I think we're so inspired to work together is because we have complete clarity on what we're meant to be doing. We know why we're here. We know the work that we're meant to be doing in the world and we have the ability to share with you the work that you're meant to be doing in the world. Like we have the ability to give that to you with complete clarity. Not only what, not only who you are, what your divine mission is, what you're meant to be offering to the world, but where you're meant to be offering it. Um, the combination of the two of us working together is so powerful because of the clarity piece. Um, because I know it's frustrating when you don't know. I know it's frustrating when you're out there floundering around trying to figure out how you're meant to be making your impact. Um, and, because of, and because of that, a lot of people are giving up right now and a lot of people are going back to sleep because it's gotten too hard and it's been too confusing and they haven't been able to find their way and they haven't been able to find their path or their, you know, exactly what the thing is that they're meant to be doing with the world. They don't know what their divine essence has been, is. And like the time for that is over. Like, the resource has been given to you to be able to figure that out in Maria and I. So you get to choose whether you're gonna opt in on that or not, um, but know that the resource is here. So that's the work that, that I'm meant to be doing in the world, that we're meant to be doing in the world, and it's a portion of the work that I'm meant to be doing in the world. So that's what's happening. And the separation is occurring whether you like it or not. I mean, we can all sit and be like, oh, love and light and, and no man left behind, but it's not fucking reality. Like that's not actually what's happening. And there's evidence of it. You can literally look at what's happening inside the spiritual community right now. And you can see that people, leaders are taking off. Like they're like, I'm not doing this anymore. Or they're like suddenly becoming spiritual. People are suddenly becoming, everyone's becoming a money coach right now, right? Everybody's becoming a money coach and everybody wants to help people with their money issues. And it's, it's a valid thing. I think as spiritual people, we need to have help with our money issues. But for me, well, the wealth repatterning that I do is less about making money and more about 
deconstructing programming around slavery consciousness and getting rid of all of that shit and activating abundance inside of you. It's it's not like, let me coach you how to make fucking $50,000 this month or how to make $10,000 this month or how to have a 10K month. Like, but I'm shocked at how many spiritual people are now money coaches. And so people are moving out of spirituality and into materialism. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But the landscape is changing and the separation is happening. It's already happening. And it's going to get, there's going to become more distance between us, not less. And so this is why it's so vitally important that you decide now that you decide, are you getting on the train? Are you going to do your purpose work? Are you going to do your divine mission work? Are you willing to do whatever it takes to figure out what that is? Or are you staying behind? You have a choice. You have a choice, 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 choice. Um, so that's all my spiritual rantings for the day. I'm gonna talk about my black birthday sales now. Speaking of materialism, watch me be a hypocrite. Um, <laughs> listen, it's my birthday on Saturday. It's Black Friday on Friday. So we obviously are having black birthday sales as you do. Um, but I'm really excited about this because this is next level me stepping into stepping into next level me and offering offers for you that help you step into your next level you. Um, I'm doing something that I don't believe anyone has ever done. Um, I've had, uh, I had a five figure launch the first time I launched Ouroboros this year and I had a six figure launch the second time I launched Ouroboros this year and I am getting ready to launch round three that will be starting in January of 2020. And again, this is my wealth repatterning program. There's nothing else out there like this program. Anything else that says that it is a money or wealth clearing program, um, it is not this program. This program, there is not another one out there like it. I know that because this information has been downloaded to me by the divine. Um, I am a spiral practitioner, so obviously I have taken pieces of my spiral practitioner training and, and it has greatly influenced Ouroboros, but we are doing stuff in this program that nobody, no practitioner is doing right now. Um, anything else that's out there is just a copy as far as I'm concerned because nobody's doing the work that we're doing and nobody's doing the, the deep level of work that we're doing in Ouroboros. Um, it's now becoming a four month program instead of a three month program. And so it's $3,333. You can get it for $2,222 right now. There's an epic eight month program um, payment plan available. So that's available to you in my black birthday sales and um, all class pass for 2020 for 1,111, which as of January 1st will be 3,333. So you can get the all class pass, all the things for all the Leah things in 2020. There's some exceptions, but all the courses and one-off classes that I do, um, for $1,111 payment plan available on that as well. Um, that pass was valued at $6,000 this year. And next year, I'm not going to be doing very many small, like small level programs um, and very few one-off classes. And so I cannot imagine that this pass won't be valued at around $12,000 because next year for me is all high-end programs. Um, so the people that get in on this are going to be really, really happy they did at this rate um, because $3,000 for this pass is going to be a huge value, um, but $1,000 is ridiculous price. Um, and then the thing that I'm doing that nobody else I believe has ever done, and I'm so excited about this, um, because I had these really, really amazing launches with Ouroboros, and I have a feeling that this next one in January is going to be $250,000 to $300,000 launch. Um, I am launching a program called Launch With Me, where literally you're gonna get to follow me around for a month and see every single thing that goes into these launches that become six-figure launches. And this isn't just about sales strategy and funnels, though that is going to be included. It's not just about sending emails, it's not just about doing live streams. You're going to get everything that I do leading up to, during, and after 
a launch. Um, you literally get to launch this program alongside me. I'm giving away all my secrets, all my launch secrets in this program. I'm literally showing you how to go out and create six-figure launches for yourself. Uh, because a lot of what I do is mindset and it is intention setting and it is magic and it is ritual and it is all of these things. And you're going to be able to personalize these things for yourself. But in addition to that, you are going to be getting all of the actual business strategy. You're going to be on live streams or, and Zoom calls of my launch meetings with my team, of my graphics design with my graphics designer of the all the email funnels and stuff with my email person um with my facebook ads person um with my team on the team meetings where we're discussing it you're literally getting all access to how we do these launches so that program is going to be one thousand five hundred fifty five dollars you can get it right now for 888 and there is an amazing payment plan available for that as well so those are the three black birthday sale offers jump on those um i'm super excited those are available until 11:59 p.m eastern standard time december 1st which is my birthday so that's it that's all i have i'm gonna go finish my prep for this retreat see if maria wants to get some lunch because i'm getting hungry and i think that's it so i love you all um we're gonna be uh Come catch me over on Instagram because we're definitely going to be doing um, some, I'm going to be showing like the retreat venue today. We're going to be showing some of the prep, um, getting there, setting up all of that over there. So if you're curious about what goes into a Leah Steele brand retreat, you can go check out my stories over there. Have an amazing day, morning, evening, wherever you are in the world. As you're watching this live stream or you're watching the replay, remember it's your divine birthright to be wealthy in all areas of your life. And remember that wealthy actually means well and healthy. And I think that's it. So mwah, the reascension has begun.